Orthodontic problems are very common in our pets, just as they are in humans. We perform orthodontic procedures in our pets, not for a pretty smile, but to alleviate pain and infection. Most orthodontic problems can be diagnosed at an early age. A dental examination should be a part of your puppy or kitten's first visit to your veterinarian. One of the most common disorders we see is retained deciduous teeth. A puppy or kitten normally loses its baby teeth and these are replaced by permanent teeth, the same as ours. The deciduous tooth should be gone by the time the corresponding permanent tooth is erupting through the gum. If still present, the deciduous tooth should be extracted at this time. When retained, the deciduous tooth will cause crowding with its corresponding permanent tooth and this leads to an accumulation of food, hair, and debris and this results in periodontal disease. Another issue resulting from retained deciduous teeth is abnormal positioning of the corresponding permanent tooth. A common example of this is called base narrow canine teeth. The lower permanent canine teeth erupt to the inside of the deciduous teeth. If the deciduous teeth are retained, they can cause the permanent canines to erupt too far to the inside and these permanent teeth will end up hitting the roof of the mouth. This condition is painful to the patient and can lead to infection of the roof of the mouth. This condition can be treated with a device called an inclined plane which exerts an orthodontic force upon the permanent canines moving them into a normal occlusion in a few weeks. Our canine patients normally have 42 teeth and our felines have 30. Occasionally teeth may be missing. Dental x-rays are used to search for the missing teeth. If the teeth are found to be impacted, they must be extracted. Impacted teeth often lead to the formation of a dentigerous cyst, an anomaly that causes a serious weakening of the jaw. A class 3 malocclusion, commonly known as an undershot jaw, occurs when the lower jaw is too long with respect to the upper jaw. When this happens, we often have a contact between the lower canine and the upper third incisor. This situation causes a wearing down of one or both of these teeth and can result in severe damage. The treatment of choice is often extraction of the upper incisor to alleviate this damage. This is just a sample of the many orthodontic disorders that we see in our pets. For more information, please give us a call at 775-746-0333.